Okay. So today's question, my doctor recommended metformin as I have high blood sugar. I'm not sure I want to take it. What are the pros and cons of doing this? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. I regularly speak with five to 10 couples per week who are struggling to have their baby. And although we want to help everyone, we only have four spots available per month to work with us. I would like to invite you and your partner to a supercharge your fertility discovery call. And this calls for you if you meet at least one of these criteria. You've been trying to get pregnant for at least two years. You've been through at least one failed IUI or IVF. This calls for action takers. If you're not ready and you wait, the risk is you'll need to wait two to three months for a spot to open up. If you're seriously considering working with us, Go to Fab Fertile, F A B Fertile, and click on Book a Free Call. That's Fab Fertile, F A B Fertile, and click on Book a Free Call. Then you'll be all booked in and ready to spend 30 minutes to give you the action plan to getting pregnant naturally. There's a lot of information about which supplements are right for fertility. And like most couples I speak with, you are probably taking a lot of supplements. But are these supplements optimizing or harming your fertility? That's why we recommend professional grade supplements without harmful dyes, fillers, or top allergens so that you can prepare your body in the best way for pregnancy. And as you may know, we take a functional approach to fertility. And while supplements are included in your customized protocols, which are based on testing, they are only part of the equation because there's no pill you can take that without supplement the basics such as poor diet, dysregulated sleep, either moving too much or not enough and not dealing with chronic stress. So we do recommend basic supplements for both men and women. And these are essential starters that you need to have right now to optimize your preconception health. And I'm excited to offer you a special discount at our Fab Fertile store. You'll receive 15% discount on our professional grade supplements. So simply go to Fab Fertile store. That's F-A-B Fertile store.com to access the basic supplements so that you can prepare your body for pregnancy success without wasting time and money on supplements that may not be right for you. Go to Fab Fertile Store, that's fabfertilestore.com, and save 15% on your order. Hey there, thanks so much for listening to the Get Pregnant Naturally podcast. And I've got a favor to ask you, if you are enjoying learning about the functional approach to fertility, consider going to iTunes and rating and reviewing the podcast. This is how it helps the show reach more people that are struggling with infertility, knowing that there's another approach that really can get to the bottom of why it's not working in the first place. So all you need to do is if you're on the app or the desktop, just go in and consider leaving a five-star rating and leave a review. And there is step-by-step instructions in the show notes showing you exactly how to do that. So if you can just take a few minutes, just take the few minutes right now, you can pause this, this recording, come back, leave the review. It would really mean the world to me and help others that are on the fertility journey as well. Take care. I didn't need to go to donor eggs. Obviously, mm-hmm. I don't regret it. I have beautiful children. I could have done things differently, restored. I was still cycling back in my in my 20s. I could have looked at my health, the environmental toxins, the stress I was under, Many, many women are being told their eggs are too old. That's often merely an assumption that's not based on actual evidence. The reason being that there is no direct test of egg quality. You can't test egg quality. It's the man who's got a food sensitivity or he has a zinc deficiency. Like there can be a root cause to these symptoms that are, you know, quote unquote, period problems that the doctor will pass you a pill without any question of why. And some part of you knows that if you can reframe your journey from not one of struggle, or if it is struggle, learn how to embrace the struggle. Learn how to embrace it. Most conditions in the child occur during the nine months of development. It's the the genetic switches are turned on or turned off and they're pre-programmed. So you are in such a powerful, amazing position to do amazing things for your kids. You know, why is IVF the first step? 
because we believe it should be the last step. Welcome to Get Pregnant Naturally, where functional medicine and natural fertility solutions will help you get pregnant and have your baby. Okay, so today's question, my doctor recommended metformin as I have high blood sugar. I'm not sure I want to take it. What are the pros and cons of doing this? We see this recommended all the time. Even actually, it's interesting, even if there aren't any blood sugar issues. We saw this last week with a client where, you know, coming up for a cycle, um, an IVF, it could be a standard, a standard recommendation. What's your take on metformin, um, the pros and cons? Dr. Tabitha? Yeah, so metformin has been shown in multiple studies to help with insulin resistance, to manage your blood sugar, which in turn makes your body feel like it's safe to reproduce. And so we do see fertility improve with metformin use. We see women lose that stubborn weight. You know, our fat cells, they're called adipose cells, make a form of estrogen called estrone, and that can be converted into testosterone as well. But those hormones made in your fat cells aren't doing you any favor. They're just causing more imbalance. And so if we can get women losing weight before they try to get pregnant, that is beneficial. And metformin has been proven to do that. You know, I can see it from both sides. I'm a conventionally trained doctor and a functionally trained doctor. So, you know, I used to give metformin all the time. You got PCOS, you aren't ovulating, you want to get pregnant, let's do metformin. And it works. But it's not really addressing the issue because a lot of women are continuing to eat highly processed foods with inflammatory oils from restaurants and fast food and things like that. And so you're still driving this dysfunction. It's like trying to scoop water out of a bathtub when the drain is plugged and the water's still running. Like it's going to overflow. You're just slowing down that massive catastrophe. So I really want women to work on the root causes. But if they are dialing all that in and they are, their cells are still struggling. So here's the thing. Our cells can get inflamed. The actual membrane where the hormone binds can get inflamed to the point where the hormone can't send the signal. And so if insulin can't send a signal to fix your blood sugar and, you know, balance your blood sugar, we need to bring down that inflammation. Metformin is kind of bypassing that and helping with your insulin to get that blood sugar into the cell, but it's not fixing the inflamed cell. That will show up as another problem down the road. Unfortunately, I see women end up with gestational diabetes or preeclampsia of pregnancy very often when they use metformin to get pregnant. If you're going to use it, also do the other work. (laughs) I sound like a broken record, but the major risks are your baby can have low blood sugar at the time of delivery because your body has been controlling this artificially. Sometimes your baby will develop gestational diabetes and not be able to manage their own blood sugars. And so when they deliver and they no longer have you as their source of food and regulation, they don't manage it as well. So that can sometimes be an issue. It can cause diarrhea. That's the most common side effect that people complain of is they're having loose bowels a few times a day. Um, So they usually titrate it to bowel tolerance. Actually, that's the recommended dosage. So Other than that, we haven't seen any major long-term risk factors, but I don't think that we have necessarily looked either. And what's your take on on, uh, berberine? Because that can be a a natural alternative for that. But um, yeah, what's your take on that one? So I love getting women on like a blend of berberine, cinnamon, inositol, a couple different things chromium, different things to help regulate your blood sugars as you are making those diet changes. Those herbs and minerals will help your cell decrease their inflammation and hear the signal as you are managing your blood sugars. So a lot of times you don't need the metformin if you try that glucose support blend. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram send me a DM and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. and send me a DM. And please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care. 
I regularly speak with five to 10 couples per week who are struggling to have their baby. And although we want to help everyone, we only have four spots available per month to work with us. I would like to invite you and your partner to a supercharge your fertility discovery call. And this calls for you if you meet at least one of these criteria. You've been trying to get pregnant for at least two years. You've been through at least one failed IUI or IVF. This calls for action takers. If you're not ready and you wait, the risk is you'll need to wait two to three months for a spot to open up. If you're seriously considering working with us, go to Fab Fertile, F-A-B Fertile, and click on book a free call. That's Fab Fertile, F-A-B Fertile, and click on book a free call. Then you'll be all booked in and ready to spend 30 minutes to give you the action plan to getting pregnant naturally. You may be taking supplements that instead of optimizing your fertility, may be harming it. That's why we recommend professional grade supplements without harmful dyes, fillers, or top allergens. Simply go to Fab Fertile Store, that's F-A-B Fertile Store, Dot com to receive a 15% discount on our basic supplement recommendations for preconception health. That's fabfertilestore.com. The Get Pregnant Naturally podcast, including show notes and links, provides information with respect to healthy living, nutrition, lab testing, and is intended for informational purposes only. The information provided is not a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment, nor is it to be construed as such. We cannot guarantee that the information provided on the Get Pregnant Naturally podcast reflects the most up-to-date medical research. Information is provided without representation or warranties of any kind. Please consult a qualified physician for medical advice and always seek the advice of a qualified health care provider with any questions you may have regarding your health and nutrition program.